Yo! What's going on, guys? Right away here. Welcome back to the channel. For watching today's video, make sure to go down below and drop a quick like in the next five seconds for some good luck. As you guys can see, we are back on Black Ops Cold War, and the weapon my operator is holding right now is what we're gonna use in today's video. So with the introduction to Season 2 a few days ago, we got the brand new Farah 83 Assault Rifle. So you can actually unlock it for free at Tier 15, or if you guys actually head to the end, I believe at Tier 95, right here, you get the Vulture Exo Reactive Camo variant for this gun. Yes, Reactive Camos are back as you get kills the camo will upgrade and it will evolve on the gun which is absolutely amazing and throughout the whole entire season they're going to be adding even more reactive camo bundles like today they just released this brand new ffar reactive camo as you can see the weapon changes colors when you're getting kills if you guys are purchasing the season 2 battle pass or any of the brand new bundles make sure to use my support a creator code raid raid i have to say man i was not really liking the far 83 when i first got the gun I was kind of leveling it up. It has a lot of recoil, but a very fast fire rate. And with the attachments that I was unlocking, I actually made a really awesome class setup to control the recoil and make this gun actually pretty good. So we'll jump into the gameplay, and then at the end, I'll show you guys the class setup that I'm using. Remember to subscribe for more Black Ops Cold War videos each and every single day, and let's jump right into it. Okay. Gotta back up here. Has like the fire rate of the FFAR, but like the style of the Krig. People are freaking out. Yup, oh, there's the flip. Got the death machine, we're on a 7. I don't know what to do here. How did they get an attack, Ellie? Semtex going out. Got a Semtex kill. Of course I'm gonna play inside, man. Why would I risk my life just to go outside and die? I even died inside, so there's really not much I could have done. On another eleven. Okay. Port Nova authorizing harp overhead. All right, chat. Wait, we can't collect tags. Don't collect tags. Don't collect tags. Do not collect tags. Don't collect tags. We can we can actually drop this. We can genuinely drop this. Okay. Guys, we can drop the nuke. They put a jammer down. I'm on a 20. I'm on a 20. I'm on a 20. Oh my god, I'm on a 20. Firing for effect. 21. Enemy napalm, get again inside. 22. Guys, do not collect the tags. Do not collect the tags. I'm dead. No way. What were you doing? What were you doing? Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm on a 12. I've been using a controller since I was freaking out of the womb. No point in switching now. 
I'm dead. I'm on 18. I'm dead. Dude, how am I not dying? We're on a 20. We're 10 off the nuke. Vinny, I'm gonna drop this nuclear for you. If I die, then I'll still kiss you. No! Oh my god, he had the death machine. I'll still kiss you though. But I heard that they're making um they're making a daytime version of this map sometime in season two. And they're actually making the map smaller and brighter. So I actually have a feeling that the new Miami map that they come out with, you know, it, when it's in the daytime and the map is smaller, I think it might actually be de like decent. I don't like Miami, but if the map was smaller, I feel like it could actually work. Drop a nuke on this map. I'm. Pfft, I don't even know what to think anymore. Techcom, begin harp operation. Enemy took alpha. Sighted flashbang. I was about to say, bro. Charlie secure. Yeah, get these guys over to see, man. Enemy took C. Hello? Yo, what is this lag? Why are we triple capping? One dude left. We lost a. Let the suit climb up. Sentry turret active. Hostile spy plane established overhead. One away from the new. Securing a. Finally. Finally! Wow. I can't believe I dropped it on this map out of all maps. Like, I, I really, I, I can't fathom. Like, this game, this game would make me drop it on this map, you know? Honestly, it really, really would. Hello, hello, hello. I think I finally found the best class at a fert, or something close to the best class at a fert. This gun kind of looks like the SCG. Honestly, it really reminds me of, like, the SCG from World at War. I think I finally controlled the recoil, as you guys can see. Not much recoil now. Without the right attachments, this gun is pretty bad. But with the right attachments, you can actually make it work. 
you can actually make it work with the right attachment. So, Miami Nuclear. Hey guys, so this is the class setup that I'm using for the Farah 83. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the recoil for this gun is actually really crazy. So, I found a good attachment setup that will make this gun pretty viable. So, for the optic, I'm rocking the Microflex LED. I am not a fan of the iron sights at all. Uh, for the barrel, we're actually going to be rocking the 18.1 takedown. The under barrel, we're going to be rocking the Spetsnaz grip to help out with the vertical and horizontal recoil control. That will be amazing. The magazine, we're rocking the Spetsnaz 50 round, which actually gets the reactive camo on it, which is pretty awesome. And then for the stock, we're going to be rocking the KGB skeletal stock to help out with the sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed. Overall, man, this gun is pretty good when you unlock attachments for it. It really reminds me of like a Craig FFAR kind of combo. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time.